Radio stations are competitive. The newspapers are competitive. I think it is one of the best newspapers in the United States. I think it's about average. I think it's a very bad newspaper. As editor, I know very well that the day we get no complaints is the day we put out a dull newspaper. In one moment, you're being hanged as too liberal. The next day, you're being hanged as too conservative. In some things, we are liberal. In others, we're conservative. But there is an effort to give, to our best ability, both sides of the question. To give our readers a balanced diet from which they can select their own opinion. Editorial department. The editor has arrived. It's the start of a typical workday at the Detroit News and time to produce an all new afternoon newspaper. Some of the staff have already been here for hours helping to prepare the first edition. A few have been around all night. An afternoon paper must keep going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if it's going to report all the news as it happens. The Detroit News has been doing it for a century which makes it one of the oldest newspapers in America. It's also one of the biggest afternoon papers anywhere, with a circulation over 600,000. Its Sunday edition, the Sunday News, tops 800,000. Almost all this circulation is in the seven counties of metropolitan Detroit. That means serving Detroit's needs and interests is the paper's number one concern. It's a tough beat, but hardly a dull one. The first edition. It will be followed by three more. Throughout all